wouldn't be dazzled by an animal like this, the woolly mammoth, or the saber-toothed tiger, the Irish elk, the giant sloth. Today they exist just as bones in museums, alive only in our imaginations and the recreations of artists and filmmakers. But what if that could change? I feel like we're in the emergency room of the wildlife business, really. I don't want to see elephants in textbooks or, you know, the way we see dinosaurs. We're going to lose a lot of species if we don't do something about it. Dresser and her team are trying to increase the populations of endangered animals by putting their DNA into the eggs of their non-endangered relatives. It's worked before with African wildcats. These two are both interspecies clones, so normal, they even mated the old-fashioned way and produced kittens. Eight kittens altogether. We had a couple litters. And they're totally healthy, and they're African wildcats. Wildcats. Totally African wildcats, totally healthy. And it said to us, hey, this works. And now that we know we can do it, we can say to the world, these animals do develop. They do reproduce naturally. And we can use this as a tool for endangered species. Dresser is the keeper of a new kind of zoo, a frozen zoo where she's collecting tiny skin samples from thousands of different animals inside these tanks filled with liquid nitrogen. So if any one of these animals were to go extinct, mm -hmm. you could bring them back. Right? In theory, I believe we can. In other words, it's, it's kind of a Noah's Ark. Yeah. It's not a zoo, it's an ark. <laughs> it's an ark, <laughs> truly.